Welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're gonna diagnose with 2013 Toyota Prius, as you can see here, and uh, we're gonna take a look uh, mainly at the highway system. Uh, that's a common concern and things that can go wrong with this vehicle. So, what we're gonna do is we're using the Ukenic scanner here. What we have done, uh, you plug in the adapter under the OBD2 port, which is always under your dash. Uh, that's where your OBD2 port is, and then you have the scanner. And we have turned it on, and we have already selected um, the Toyota and then the, the Prius automatically detected the VIN on this one. So what we have done here, we've gone and done a full scan. So the scanner has gone through all the different control units and found where there are fault codes. You can see that the hybrid control has two fault codes. As you can see, you can press this drop down and you can actually see the codes. You can select whichever control unit you want and enter it to do further troubleshooting, which we're going to do in a second. But I just want to show you this really quick. You can see the codes on this tire pressure sensor system, main body. You can see the full codes. If it's history, it means it happened in the past. It's not an active current issue, so those codes can clear. But if it's um, current, then it, they won't clear. So you can see a few modules have, and then uh, this you can look at it as a report. At the bottom here you have all the codes, and you can email this, print it, whatever, save it on the device, whatever you want to do. But let's focus on the hybrid control. So we select the hybrid control unit, press OK. And then we can read the codes again. We're going to see the same codes we saw earlier, but here we have entered the hybrid control system. And then these codes, if you want, they're history, they're old, you can erase them, you can hit erase, okay, but if, and then it says code clear, the problem is if, if these codes were active, then you wouldn't be able to clear them. You can go to live data, and this is where if you're doing troubleshooting, checking the condition of the hybrid system, this is where you want to go live data, select all, and then hit okay. Now it takes a second for this data to populate, but this data does change as if you, let's say, if you're driving the vehicle, those values will automatically change. But you have a lot of things here. This is a very long list, and I'm not going to go over every single line item here. Uh, temperatures and codes and RPMs and uh, torque values. I'm going to focus on a couple of things that are important. Um, so if you keep scrolling down here, I don't mean to go too fast, but there is this is a very extensive long list temperatures of the electric motors and the engine and things like that um, position of the pedal and you know so like if you were to drive again these values would change if they're not changing if you, let's say you press the accelerator but the uh, pedal and you don't see the values change well you know, there's something wrong going on there so it's good for testing there uh, checking the uh, the values live but I wanted to scroll down all the way down to the bottom here I'm gonna kind of scroll through this. So if there is something specific that you're looking to monitor, uh, you can pause the video and kind of check this or play it uh, at a slower speed. But um, all the way down to the bottom, we have what battery block voltage is. And this is important because a lot of times you wanna see which uh, battery pack has failed uh, or which one might have a really um, different voltage than the rest, because that can also create uh, issues. And we're almost getting there. So you can see battery block one, the voltage there, 16, and it's fluctuating a little bit, you know, as it keeps measuring it. Uh, block two, block three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be good, like if you have an issue with your um, uh, Toyota Prius hybrid, and then you wanna know which uh, battery uh, block to replace, you can check that right here as you can see because you would see one of them would have like either zero or much lower voltage than the rest of them and it cannot be significantly different because that is an issue you can also the, uh, see the internal resistance of the block so you can see that they're all at 0 0.019 ohm ohm meters and uh, so yeah this is something that uh, if you're looking to buy a Toyota Prius you probably should check and if you are looking to troubleshoot one, you probably want to go here as well. There's an active test. You can do a few tests in here, battery charge. Uh, it tells you how to start that. And the uh, compression test. 
it walks you through the steps as well i'm going to just quick overview activate the water pump driving the battery cooling fan so you can turn that on and connect the tc2 and the te1 as well so it just gives you the procedure and then on the next screen you'll activate it on and off but that's it thank you for watching you where you can be the mechanic